Hello, District 117 families. I am Jim McKay, Superintendent of Community High School District 117. As we have bid the graduating class of 2021 farewell, we turn our attention to welcoming families and students of the incoming class of 2025. We want to provide all families at this time a preview of the 2021-22 school year. The significant work that was completed last year to return most students to in-person learning will serve us well as we prepare to return fully to in-person learning in the fall. Many of the safety, logistical, and curricular adjustments have already been made to accommodate the current public health guidance. If guidance from the Illinois St State Board of Education and the Illinois Department of Public Health changes over the summer, the information in this presentation is subject to change. According to the governor's Restore Illinois plan, we are in the bridge phase between phases four and five. We are expected to move to phase five within the next few weeks if the health metrics continue to hold. Please note that safety precautions and mitigating measures are a part of phase five plan for public schools. The Illinois Department of Public Health has aligned their guidance to the CDC guidance. CDC is maintaining that all staff, students, and visitors wear a mask while on school grounds. The state superintendent of education announced that she expects this guidance will be in place through the fall months. District 117 must follow this guidance until it is permissible to lift the mask requirements. Next school year, we'll have full class sizes with a separation between students of three to six feet. The current, the current guidance, however, does not allow students to eat maskless under six feet separation. We will continue to eat in our cafeterias, gymnasiums, common spaces to ensure the six foot separation guidance. The definition of close contact is not expected to change. A close contact is defined as anyone within six feet of a COVID-19 positive individual, masked or unmasked for 15 minutes or more within a 24 hour period. Due to student desks being within six feet of each other, next year, this could increase the possibility of students having to quarantine. Currently, there is an ongoing study by the Lake County Health Department to determine whether the protocol for close contact quarantine can be adjusted. The results of this study will be shared when this study is completed later this summer. Our nurses, are in collaboration with the Lake County Health Department to continue to offer an optional on-site COVID-19 test to symptomatic students and staff. As previously mentioned, the significant work done by the district to reopen for in-person instruction this past year provided us an opportunity to learn from the process and make improvements moving forward. The district, along with our elementary feeder districts, offered students 12 years old and older a COVID-19 vaccination clinic at Antioch Community High School for those families that wanted a convenient local service. The district will continue with a later start time next year with first hour beginning at 8 a.m. Due to the anticipated increase in social and emotional challenges, the district has hired an additional school psychologist. Similarly, we have expanded our social worker capacity to strengthen our student services. The district is expanding classroom space at Lakes to accommodate their space needs. District 117 teachers have the opportunity to work on their curriculum this summer to make adjustments to better serve our students in the coming school year. Other adjustments may be necessary as state guidance may change over the summer. For those students that require remote learning due to a documented medical need, a diagnosis must be made by a medical physician. Your physician must complete the district's remote learning form and provide a remote learning plan. 
For the few students that will learn remotely, the process will look differently than last year. Students will use Edgenuity, an online learning platform, rather than streaming into a classroom. The, while Edgenuity has a wide selection of courses, it does not offer all the courses District 117 schools offer. Remote students will work closely with their guidance counselor to create their schedules. More specific information will be provided from your schools. Students that are quarantined for 10 to 14 days due to COVID-19 close contact will receive their instruction through streaming their classrooms on their district issued Chromebook. This streaming option is not available for those families that travel during the course of the school year or for those students that have been diagnosed with a short-term illness other than COVID-19. The district will offer full bus service for the fall. The current health guidance still limits bus capacity to 50 people. Full in-person learning Monday through Friday will resume in the fall. All courses will be 50 minutes in length Tuesday through, Tuesday through Friday with a 25 minute lunch break. A late in schedule will be followed on Mondays with, a, with 40 minute class periods and 25 minute lunch breaks. Programming updates include physical education will require students to change into their PE uniforms. Driver's education will continue to wear masks as they drive. Special education will follow, we'll follow students' individual educational plans. If you have any questions regarding special education, please contact Dr. Bree Sirdar. The district plans to offer full traditional schedules for athletics, the arts, clubs, and activities, and will follow the public health guidelines associated with each. Students have the opportunity over the summer to take coursework as well, coursework as well. Opportunities for credit recovery, gaining credit, and preparing for advanced placement courses will be offered this summer. Please refer to our website for summer school opportunities, which run June 7th through July 1st. Here are some important dates throughout the summer. Please continue to check our website for any changes or additional opportunities. On behalf of our entire staff and Board of Education, I want to thank, take a moment to say how proud we are of our graduating seniors and we wish them only success. We have come a long way addressing the challenges of this pandemic. There is still a lot of work to be done. We are far better when we work together to create the very best teaching and learning environment. If you have any questions regarding this presentation, please reach out to the building for specific responses. I hope you have a, a restful and safe summer.